demo time. Yeah, quick. We'll just do a quick editor demo. The even the lighter purple on there. There. So we were required to meet at least double A accessibility um, for all of our websites at Harvard. So having these preset colors in there, you know the fonts are going to be right and visible, um, is just such a huge help. If a professor delivers a brilliant lecture, but no students are there to hear it, does it have an impact? And that's really going to translate to how SEO is important to higher education, because I want everyone to, I don't, uh, how do I phrase this? I feel very bad <laughs> when people spend a lot of money and a lot of time building out websites, but they don't take advantage of the free traffic that organic SEO can provide, and they end up spending more money than they need to. It's a small team, big university. How do you manage that efficiently? I think one of the uh, taglines of this event was on a university budget. We all have a good sense of the resource constraints when you have people asking for things from all sides. Once you start thinking about adopting WordPress, across a campus really for for as the as the primary or the main recommended web tool you're really thinking about wordpress itself as a platform you're not thinking about a wordpress site you're not thinking about a site network you're thinking about how do we as an institution do wordpress so wordpress was a natural fit but one of the reasons that i think that that is an important story to tell is that it, there is a definite trap that you can get into if you're not used to using WordPress as a tool, as a platform. Um, and that's, you know, doing things in the default way.